Squaddies and welcome to today's episode of Brion Squaddies. So I hope that all of you are having a fantastic day and that you're so happy wherever you are. Well, you remember Megan's hiking outfit, right? The one that she wore, she wore uh, to hiking on the pictures that we saw it's now reportedly been sold out. All of them that Megan wore have been sold out. I'll just tell you one thing. No one can even ignore the influence and the effect that Megan has. Every time that Megan wears an outfit, you just see it selling out. Megan has a lot of influence. That's why these derangers and the British media are so jealous of Megan that they don't even want Megan to relaunch her TIG. And I really want Megan to relaunch uh, that website because it's going to help her a lot. I'm seeing so many people are cashing in using Megan's name and even every time Megan wears an outfit, it gets sold out. So why uh, not Megan? If other people can make money using Megan's name and her influence, then why not Megan? I just would love if Megan relaunched her website. Remember uh, Princess Megan's date night look at the Lakers game with Prince Harry is sold out and only available for pre-order. That is, it is available in June. Imagine, everything that Megan wears just sells out. Her power and her influence cannot just be ignored. Megan's fashion sense and the way she just dresses is so dope. No one can say otherwise. You remember even after, uh, after the coronation, some article was saying that royal fashion disaster Katy Perry missed the mark at Charles' coronation. Megan was missed for her style. They know that Megan is the queen of styles. Everything that Megan wears just sells out and people become so interested in that brand. That is just the, the Megan Markle power, the influence that Megan has and the effect that Megan has on brands. And you know, as usual, the, the derangers can't just keep their hateful or jealous comments to themselves. They always have something to say about Megan because they are so jealous every time that Megan actually appears looking good and looking happy. So this one was criticizing Megan, uh, saying that she was not pro properly attired for a hike in her own neighborhood, yet they also want her nowhere near the royals. I'm not even going to read you what this uh, person actually said because this tweet was so vile. But and what she was doing is that she was comparing Megan's uh, outfit while hiking to Kate's outfit at the coronation. Well, who even does that? Who even does the things that these hateful people do? How do you compare Megan while she's gone to hiking, of which she looked fabulous by the way, to Kate, who looked all frowny during the coronation? She was also saying something about Megan uh, posing for, for the paparazzi during the weekend. One thing that annoys me the most what makes these people actually dehumanize Megan than thinking that Megan is not allowed to go out of her house even once in a while? I mean, the last time that we actually saw Megan was at the Lakers game and she looked good. And the next time that we are seeing her is during this hike. Megan is just trying to have a good time and living like normal people. When a Kate and William go on a hike or rock climbing, you don't see these people criticizing them. They let a Kate and William live their lives. But when Megan does exactly the same thing, people criticize her. Isn't Megan allowed to live her life? After all, she's not hurting anyone. She's just uh, living her best life, enjoying her life with her kids and her friends and even her husband. She's not hurting anyone. So for these people to be so bitter about Megan going out is some level of hatred that I think I'll never understand. Megan is just a normal human being like any of us. So she's allowed to live her life. The hatred of these people just consumes them alive. What even makes them think that Megan was posing for the paparazzi? Of course she was not. She was just having a good time. And because these people can't uh, leave her in peace, they're always following her. They caught a picture of her. And how is that Megan's fault? How is it Megan's fault? 
these people always find something to blame Megan on. Yet, you see obviously that there's nothing wrong with what Megan was doing. And she still tweeted another very vile tweet saying that, Also, why no Harry or the kids? Why is she never seemingly in the public with her children? You see, this is the same narrative that Samantha Markle and Angela Levine were spreading around about Megan's kids. And now you see that this person called Royal News Network was is spreading the same same lies about Megan. If Megan had even appeared with, with her kids in the public or on that hike, then they'd still have criticized Megan saying that she was seeking attention. Megan has not even uh, made any statement or wasn't seen in the public uh, during the coronation. She gave these people all that time, even though uh, they put the coronation on her son's birthday, Megan did not post did not post her son on that birthday. Yet they still go ahead and attack Megan for every little thing that she does. What is Megan supposed to do? She, even if she stays back at home, they'll still criticize her and when she's now out in public they still criticize her last time as uh, she was with harry at the lakers game and they st they still said all these nasty things about megan and now she's out with her friends and they still say nasty things about her megan is never going to win either way they're still going to say nasty things about her so the only thing that remains is for megan to live her life that is the only best thing for Megan. And this person still say that there's also the weirdness that she forced Harry to leave the coronation early and yet he, do he doesn't get to go on the hike. Well, who even said that or say that Megan forced Harry to leave for the coronation early? Who lives with Harry and Megan? These people are purely liars and there's nothing that comes from their mouth that is not negative or just inciting hatred against Harry and Meghan. This person shamelessly goes ahead to say that it indicates a growing separation between the two. Remember during uh, the Netflix documentary and Harry said that their love story is just getting started. What makes these people ever think that Harry is going to leave Meghan or that Meghan is going to leave Harry? These are only wishful thinking. They know that that is never going to happen. All, all that they want is for the prince to leave uh, his biracial wife and go back to the UK. That is all that they want. They want Harry to separate from his family. They want him to leave his wife and his kids. There's no other intention of these people. Their hate towards Meghan just shocks me. I've never seen people actually hating on someone who never engages with them or says anything about them, yet they keep on hating on someone because they know that they are going to get profits by hating on someone. Their hate just drives me crazy. I've never seen such a thing. Why can't they leave this woman to just her life? And because they'd already trolled her away from the UK, they bullied her out of the UK and they still follow her to Montecito, monitoring every move, seeing everything that she wears, and then go ahead and publish all these hateful things about her. They should let Megan live in peace. After all, the only rules that Megan obliges to are those, of the, are those of the US and not those of the UK. So they should leave Megan alone. And you know, this person who actually keeps tweeting about Megan recently took a picture with Kate. She has a single purpose hate account that spreads misinformation and conspiracy theories about Meghan, Harry and their children. And this person took a picture with Kate. Well, I don't know if Kate knew that this is a hateful person, but why would she even take a picture with this person? The same person who's been spreading hatred and misinformation about, about Harry and Meghan and their kids. Well, this is just a complete disgrace, but I'm not shocked to see Kate actually taking a selfie with this, uh, pers with this person who owns this account that keeps spreading hatred against Meghan. We've seen the members of the royal family doing this over and over again. We saw Camilla dining with Piers Morgan, the same person 
who's been a trolling Megan for the longest time. We saw uh, even Princess Trees was actually hugging Piers Morgan. So you can see that this has been a trend uh, with the members of the royal family interacting with these bullies of Megan and making it look like it's so okay. But it's not. And you can see that these members of the royal family together with the British media have always tried to take down Megan. But because of what? For what reason have they all always tried to take down Megan? It's because they know the influence and the power of Megan. They can see that Megan is at, is at the verge of becoming a billionaire and that's why they are so angry, that's why they are so jealous and they don't want that for Megan. That's why you see them always are posting negative things about Megan, always saying all these bad things about Megan and yet all this is just piled on one person. This hatred is just too much and I just hope that Megan actually uses uh, her publicity and does the influence that she has to her own advantage. I just hope that she relaunches uh, the TIG because that, that is going to be very helpful to herself. That is going to be very helpful to Megan. I just hope that she relaunches this and, and she's going to continue being so successful and the haters will continue to hate. So what do you think about this? I'd love to know your opinions concerning all this. And I'll see you all squaddies on the next podcast. Have a great day. Goodbye.